Hey y'all, let's go ahead and make some breakfast. Um, I have these bratwurst that I need to get rid of, basically. So we are going to use those. Sorry, I realized I need something. We are going to use those. I'm actually only going to eat half of one because it's 230, 230 calories for one. And I'm only going to eat half because I'm trying to do a high calorie breakfast. But I don't know. I might change my mind and eat a whole one. No, no. I'll probably eat half. Um, got two eggs. They're 70 calories a piece. You know, that's 140. And then we're going to eat half of an avocado, which is 160 calories. And I think what I'm going to do with the sausage, I'm going to save it. And for dinner, I'm going to use the one sausage and a half and chop it up for like a pasta. Let this get a little hot. We're going to go ahead and crack our eggs. And I know I usually do one egg one full egg and it's egg whites doing it that way you actually can eat more eggs at lower calories I used to eat what about four eggs but I just don't feel like it right now and we just whip it up whip it up Sometimes I just drop them straight in. Sometimes I whip them. But I'm going to let this sit. No, I don't add no milk to it. I don't add no butter to it. I just use the oil that it come, that I have in the pan. Um, one thing you can do is add a little bit of water to it to stretch it out. Uh -huh. You know that, huh? You didn't know that, huh? And to help you cook faster, we're actually going to cut these in half. Okay. So it's 230 for one. Like I said, I'm going to eat half of one. But I'm going to cook both to get them out the way. And yes, I'm being a little lazy because I'm going to use my kitchen scissors. Well, I don't know. Is that really considered lazy? Or is it considered smart? It's considered smart instead of having to lay it down and use a knife, you know. See, we got our scissor, scissor. Yeah, you really didn't have to add oil to the pan with these because the oil will come out of it, but I still do it. Y'all stay safe when you're cooking. Don't put your hands off in the um <laughs> in the pan. But that's just how I roll, okay? That's just how I roll. I've been doing that since I was a kid, cooking with my fingers. Another thing, cooking, cutting them in half and cooking them like that actually makes them cook a little faster and you can make sure they got cooked through better, you know. Be right back when we flip them. All right, let's go ahead and flip them. Oh, I can't use chopsticks today. Nice and brown. Mm. 
Don't you get mad when you cook your sausages and they start rolling and stuff? And it's like, no, I don't want you to roll. I wish y'all could smell it. It smells really good. And y'all yeah, eat. I eat pork, sausages, beef sausages, turkey, bacon, I mean, like y'all know, anybody ever seen me do cooking videos, I always talk about, like I eat, I eat it all. I was going to do salmon out the packet eggs today, but I need to go ahead and use this meat up. Alright, let this finish cooking, then we'll be ready to buy eggs. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. It cook very, very nice, as you can see. I'm going to put these on the same plate, but like I said, I'm not eating them all today. I might put it into a pasta later on, but I want them to cool before I put them into like, how can I say it? A container. All right, I'm gonna clean this up because the grease got too dark for us to cook our eggs. We're gonna end up having them, you know, like them black ground eggs. I mean, that's not what I want. All right. We are going to go ahead and get the pan all for our eggs. And no, I did not season my egg batter. I always season the egg batter when it gets inside. Why? I don't know. I feel like it changes the color if you season it too early. It's sizzling, but I ain't get the big sizzle on that. I like the big sizzle. Alright, so we're going to do pepper. Nutritional yeast. Turn down our heat. Cayenne pepper. Some basil. That's a lot of basil. And onion powder. say why this is cooking you can go ahead and cut up your avocado but like I said I'm gonna have my pan up a little high so the eggs are done nice and fluffy 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 all right we're gonna take these off the stove and they are well done they are not wet some people like them not fully cooked I prefer them. I mean, I like fluffy, but I prefer them pretty cooked. So, eggs are done. Go ahead and get these plated. And we're going to go ahead and work on this avocado, cutting it up. Alright, y'all. We got our avocado. And I'm hoping that it's not too ripe. It's, it's soft. And be careful when cutting an avocado. I know there's a lot of people that get hurt cutting an avocado. Looks pretty good. What you think? 
looks good. I want to get the side that's not with the seed. Save that for later. Let's see. This side is nice and yummy. Another thing you can do on my lazy days, y'all, I just squeeze it like this. <laughs> just to make it all just pop out. Like, I don't be caring if it's pretty or not. I know y'all thinking, do you have real plates? Because you always use the paper plates. Yeah, I do. Maybe one day I'll use the real plate for aesthetics. Work with me. I say you're super ripe. I don't know why. I guess I'm not that good at that, y'all. I like avocado, so we know no piece left behind. I almost lost that piece. And it's clean. All right. Our plate is done. Something simple. A piece of sausage, two eggs, and an avocado. Avocado is 160. The two eggs is 140 together. And half of the brothwurst, half of the brothwurst is 130. And we'll add that up and talk about it when we sit down to eat. All right, y'all. Now we are sitting down. Having our breakfast, we got half an avocado, for anybody that just came on, I got half an avocado, I got half of a brassworth and two eggs that I seasoned, with just seasonings, no salt, brassworth, so y'all can do the math with me in case I'm wrong, um, half of it is 130, half of the avocado is 160, and the two eggs is 70 and 70 so that's 140 and then I also made me a hot green tea matcha that I could drink and I use this brand in case if anybody wants to know it's a really good brand I actually like the matcha that's not sweetened but this kind is good it's very very good and all together, that is 475. So this breakfast is 475 calories. Okay? So let's eat and then let's talk. You ever heard the perfect bite? Perfect bite is when you get a piece of everything. Some people don't like to mix their food. If you don't, I understand. But a perfect bite is when you get a piece of everything. Perfect bite. And the avocado pair is so good with the, the warm eggs and the warm sausage. Mm. It's nice and cold and it just enhances the flavor of all the seasonings. I can eat just eggs and avocado, y'all. One of my favorite though, and some people know, I need to go grocery shopping. One of my favorites is eggs, 
with the spinach, mushroom, and avocado. Avocado, avocado. It's almost like spinach tomato. Pretty hot. I don't know if I can see this thing. No. I'm gonna take my glasses off. I don't have really much to talk about today, but I am working on something. I think I'm going to be taking y'all on a outdoors vlog shopping because I actually want to set up a background and where I feel like would be nicer to sit and talk, you know, have breakfast with y'all, drink some hot tea or cold coffee whatever and we can talk about some things but one of the things that i have been thinking about and working on and working towards is a saying that i've been saying lately which is i was i am and I will be. I want you to say that to yourself. Think about it. And interpret it. And I'm going to talk more on that. So. We are talking about. I was. I am and I will be. And this is something that I am also working towards too. So let's work on it together and let's enhance that saying because there's so much more to those words that some can understand. I was I am and I will be. I was, I am, and I will be. All right, y'all. I'm going to go finish my matcha and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.